Hey Google Workspace fans, James here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Google Vids. It's a new feature, a new service to Google Workspace. It runs alongside Docs, Sheets and Slides and it allows you to create video decks using Gemini so you don't need to know how to edit videos. It will do it for you and this is how you do it. First head off over to Google Vids. You can get to that at vids.google.com or through your Google Drive. If you do it through Google Drive, in the top left hand corner where you create a new document there should be an option that says Google Vids otherwise head to vids.google.com and you're going to see this page it will list any videos that you've already made and you can make a new one by just clicking the plus icon in the bottom right hand corner so we're going to do that now once you click that plus icon it's going to change to this page that has a welcome screen on it and straight away it's asking for your prompt so your prompt just needs to be what you want your Google Vids to be about. So it could be training, it could be marketing, it could be something, whatever you want to share with your team. Maybe it's like you want to celebrate someone's achievement or a new sales achievement. You can do that all in here. For my one, I've got a, a prompt that I'm going to paste in here. And this is about Google Workspace itself. I want it to make a video, um, make a concise and informative video, explain the benefits of Google Workspace over, over legacy products. And I'm going to ask it to use a slide deck. So yes, you can actually link in files that you've already got in Google Drive to give it some more context of what you want built. It's really easy to do that. All you have to do is the at symbol. So let's me at, let me at the file I want. So you type at and then you start typing in the name of the file that you want to use. So I'm going to do it. I've typed it in, I've selected the file, and now I'm happy with that prompt. I've given it the file, given it what it needs. I'm going to click the next button. So let's click next. What happens now is Gemini is doing an outline of the Google deck that it's going to, the Google video deck it's going to make for me. Um, I can also re-prompt it. So if it's not quite what I want, I can put more prompts in. Now the problem with this screen is it doesn't really give you much detail of what you're seeing. It shows you the scenes it's created and a title for each scene, but apart from that, you can't actually see the scene. So on this page, it does allow you to edit and add scenes and delete scenes, but I wouldn't do that on this page. I'd hit next so you can actually see what it looks like before you go around editing it. So click next. It's then gonna give you some templates that you can pick from. You can't create your own at the moment, so you will need to use one of these templates that it provides. I'm gonna go with this one in the top left because it kind of looks like Google's material design branding, and we're talking about Google Workspace, so it kind of fits. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to be a, give me a preview of the site sort of uh, scenes that it will create. So I can just hover over these and, and view them. And if I'm happy with that uh, uh, template, I can hit create the draft video. If I want to change it, I can go back and preview another template. But let's go with this one. So let's create the draft video. Gemini is now creating it based on my prompt that I gave it. So let's see what it comes back with. So here we go, here's, here's the Google vid deck that it's created for me. You can see the interface is very much like um, Google Slides. Uh, so this is like your working area here. This is, the, this is called a scene. And you can see down in the timeline at the bottom, it lists all the scenes you have in there. And you can click on any one to go and see it. See the videos it's put in there. And you can change and edit all the elements on here. So if, for example, if you wanna edit text, just like in Slides, just double tap on it, double click on it. And there you can edit, change the text, change the fonts, change the color, all that kind of stuff that you can do in slides. Likewise with the video. So on here, let's just preview this quickly by hitting the play button. And you can see that it's stuck some videos in here. It's actually got some music on here as well. So you can see the tracks on the timeline at the bottom. So these are tracks. So you've got your scenes and then you've got your tracks, which are, could be music, it could be other video that's overlapping. It could be audio and things like that. And I'll show you those in a bit. But it's, it's, it's here and I can now change these videos if I want to, if I don't like them. So all I have to do is click on the video. A couple of options here. I can tell it to keep the video. I'm happy with that once I keep that. I don't, don't want to change that. Um, I can record a video and that will use my webcam and it will just record the, the video. Or I can find some video from the um, stock image library. So if I click on this find button, it will give me an option. I can upload files, video files that I have on my computer or stuff that I've already got on Drive. But I can go to stock media and under stock media I have got this is Shutterstock essentially you have access to all the videos on Shutterstock they're all um, free to use you can drag and drop them uh, so if I want to re uh, change the video all I have to do is click on the video I want to change it to and you can see it's updated immediately and it's kept the theming with the curved edges in this case I think it's in, I think it's like that video in there we go 
that video is now in so I hit play we should see a different video there now there you go so that's how easy it is to swap videos now these videos aren't AI generated they are from Shutterstock so if they've got people in it they are real people that are in the video so I've just clicked on that one and it's stuck on here because I hadn't selected an element but I can drag and drop that and put that wherever I want and I could do changes with it by going to the formatting options to make it curved and all that kind of stuff if I wanted an extra video on this scene but as I said these videos so it's all real people it's all stuff like that I imagine AI generated videos will be coming as well but they're not there just yet so once you've got your scenes done and you've got your um, video designed there's a load of other things that you can do which are really uh, absolutely fantastic so I'm just gonna remove that video I've stuck on there um, down the right hand side as you can see you saw this sidebar when I was swishing videos over but there's more features so there's some icons on the right hand side so if we click on templates we can then change the template that we're using so you may have had this template and decided you know what I don't really like this template I want to change it to something else so you can simply click on this and it will change the templates that you're using for each of the scenes so it doesn't have to be you could have this for one scene and that one for another scene you can mix and match and then do different changes with them inside that you have your text box so in here it allows you to drag and drop essentially clip art onto your um, uh, onto your Google vid so I could I could drag and drop this week's recap on but I can then also edit the text on it just by double clicking on it and adding the text that I want or doing it through the headline thing up here the headline feature adding the text that I want there next you got shapes so if you click on shapes just drag and drop them put them wherever you want as you can see very much like Google Slides uh, this is the stock image media stock media library so in here if I hit the X button the cross up here because um, we're in the video sorry if I click on that click on that we should be able to get to the full stock image library which has music stickers sound effects gifs and all that kind of stuff in there all royalty free for you to use you can use them so if you're looking for a specific type of music you can go in there and you can add the music as you know it's already bought some music on here it's what's classical cinema cinematic thriller on here and I might want to change that I might want to change it to uh, I don't know let's, uh, let's do some dance and electronic so all you have to do is click on that and then you just drag this down onto the onto one of the tracks down here so I'm gonna drag it onto a new track so that music has now been added let's just get it all the way to the start and I will right click on the old music and just say delete that so now we've got something called uh, trap commercial background let's see what that sounds like there you go so that's how easy it is to change your music around you've then got the option to upload stuff that you've got stored in Google Drive um, so pictures images all that kind of stuff if you want to add them in and then you've got a recording button which allows you to record your screen camera uh, screen and camera straight from your camera or just a screen on your own or a voiceover and these are elements that you can add to your um, Google vid deck so once you've recorded them they will just uh, appear as another track down here in the timeline now one of the really most powerful features here is this script button so with the script button let's see if we can find one that's got quite a lot of text on it here we go it's actually the first one's got quite a bit bit of text here so the script button is where you put your scripts that you want to be announced now you've got two options here you can either record yourself or you can use a voiceover which is kind of magical because a lot of people don't like the sound of their own voice um, you have to get used to it when you're making videos like I'm doing so you just have to put up with it but if you don't like the sound of your own voice and you or you just don't want to record you just want to have it done before you quickly you hit generate the voiceover so whatever you've typed into this box will be generated by Gemini and using really good quality sound voiceovers for you so at the moment it's come up with this professional on car one if I click on the pen icon I've got all these other vo uh, voices I can pick from I've been through these previously and the first four have a US accent the middle two have a British UK accent and the last two I think it's Australian I'm not 100% sure but it sounds a bit funny so it could be but anyway I'm gonna go with the conversational fast and breezy one so let's hit select on that and now what I can do is I can preview it by hitting the play button and that's just gonna read the box the stuff in the box so if we do that now it takes a few seconds for it to generate the preview and then you'll in hear today's it. world Here we go. remote work is the new normal but many teams are struggling with legacy tools that aren't designed for this new If you're happy with that, all you have to do is hit click insert to timeline and you'll see a new track appears and that's the voiceover. Now it's showing me the length of the voiceover. This length of voiceover actually matches this scene quite well. But you can drag and you can drag these scenes to make them longer or shorter. 
Now the key with this is, so if you've got a voiceover that's a bit longer than what the scene is, as you can see, I've made it shorter. I can then drag this to the right and a red line will appear, a faint red line once you've got them matched perfectly. So that voiceover will play exactly at the same time that this scene is being shown on screen. And once it transitions into the other, the voiceover will have ended. Now you may want it to appear on two, two uh, scenes and you can do that as well just by shrinking one of them down so they're both the same size as this blue box. And that voiceover will now continue throughout even, th even during the transition. So you've got your scenes and you've got this icon here which is the transition between scenes and you can select what type of transition you want. You can hover over them just to see a preview um, and see what they're like. This, this flicker one, I don't, I don't know why anyone would ever use that, but there's an option there for flicker and yeah, it's rubbish. And then you've got the, uh, the spin one. Uh, I imagine there'll be more coming, but these are what you've got at the moment. And it's just a transition between scenes on your video deck. If you want to add more scenes, you can do as well, just by clicking this plus button on the far right of the timeline and that will add a new scene. You can rearrange scenes by clicking and dragging and just moving them around to where they, you want them to be. And if you right click on them, you get some options here. So it's how you delete a scene and you've got some options for trimming and all that kind of stuff just to make it more perfect the way you want it to be. Now, it's very basic. It's not, this is not a video editor that you do for like this video that I'm making at the moment. This really is just for sharing data with your team, sharing information, like I said at the start but it's really simple and easy to do. The one thing you want to do is you can also share this. So uh, just like a normal Google Doc sheet or slide, you've got the share button in the top right hand corner. Enter the email addresses of the people you want to share it with and you can select their level, their, their level of ability. You know, if you want them just to be a viewer, if you want them to be able to commentate or you want them to also to be able to edit it. But this is also where you get the link once you've finished creating what you want, the link that you want to share with people in your team. So you might want to drop it into Google Chat you just hit copy link and stick that into Google Chat and what they'll see is what you'll see if you hit the play button. So if we hit the play button, let's take the time head all the way back to the start. So let's click on the first scene and, and drag this all the way back to the start. What they'll see is when they click that link that you shared, it will open in their browser and this is what they'll see. In today's world, work is the new but many teams are struggling with legacy. So you can see that's really quick. You might want to change the sound levels on that actually because that was pretty damn loud the music was overpowering on that one so to change the music level all you need to do is right click on it click on sound and then you can drop the volume down so you always want to make sure that you know the voice is much more louder than the music and the music is just in in the background so we, we drop that down and hit the play button again and that should sound a, a lot more easier to hear the narrator and what the narrator say but this is what they'll see so I'll click the link and they in get today's this player world, and they can watch what you've normal, created but many teams are struggling with legacy tools that so it's real simple, real simple to get those videos done and out into the world. I recommend having a go on it. Just go to vids.google.com as I mentioned and just have a play. There's more features going to be added to all the time. It is a new service. It is limited to Google Workspace. You do have to have a Google Workspace account. It has to be Google Workspace standard or above. If you're a Kimberly IT customer, then you've got it. You've got full access to this. There's nothing you need to do. Just go to vids.google.com and have a play and see what you can create. It's a kind of useful tool. Um, have some fun. Speak to you later. Bye.